Uh, welcome to the 8 Days Long Period Stop. Thank you for showing up the first year. And I want to thank the sponsors. Hey, Michael Melton, Mr. Rudy from you. Big hand for Rudy, y'all. Big hand. Now we're getting 500,000, dollars worth of points. And all y'all already shopped there. Let it rack up. And, you know, just use it. Absolutely. We're just bringing everybody together, kind of network together, and see what everybody's doing. See, this is why I come to these of this right here. Travis at the trailer are asking me right now. Uh, that thing is rated. Not rated. You know what that means. We just appreciate being here and appreciate everything you guys do. I'm Natalie Lopez and we're the owners of MF Designs. We do screen printing embroidery. Okay, drum roll, please. Oh, hey! Yeah! yeah. 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 It is able. Cindy. Yeah, I appreciate y'all for having us. And your fourth time with doing it, I'll be up to speak. We're looking forward to seeing Tino and AJ with AJ's lawn care and Ricky. So, can't wait to see y'all. You ain't got anything else to say? I got nothing to say. I just want to eat my jerky. <laughs> the Texas Lawn Care Roundup, and it's going to be hosted by AJ's Lawn Care. You can find them on the gram, and you can, you know, look up more stuff. I, at this point, probably daily, every few days I'm, on my stories or on my posts, I'm actually going to be... Uh, putting up a little sign. We're tagging each other in it back and forth just to kind of keep it fresh. See y'all out there. There's going to be uh, food. There's going to be giveaways. There's going to be guest speakers. I'll be there doing some podcasting. And it's just all the it's just all the bros and all the sisses in the lawn care industry getting together and hanging out. It was long. <laughs> where's where's Tino? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll go find him. Hello, how you doing? Okay. I'm. Well, that's RJ Longfield. RJ, yes. yes. Hi there. Hi Cindy. <laughs> it's so nice to meet y'all. And it was long. Yeah. Yeah. How are y'all? I'm good. How you doing? What lawn care business are y'all from? Uh, D3 Lawn and Landscaping. I'm Miguel. Kate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. See, ah, see our concrete. They just want to get into some concrete business as well. And your name? I'm Rudy. Rudy, it's so nice to nice meet, meet you. you. What company are you from? I'm from Ewing Irrigation here in San Marcos. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm the manager up there. I'm, I'm the, the guy in charge, I guess. Okay. I'm a West I think it's good. Oh, country over here, baby. Oh, oh, good. It's a cake. I did it. You're in the long one. Oh, yeah. Did you see it? I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hug. You're Miss Kelly. Yeah. How you doing? Where's your wife? She's at home. Oh, what? The grandbaby. Oh. It's so good to oh, see no, you. Grandpa. We are too, yeah. grandparents. <laughs> All girls, huh? Oh, this was an oh we do everything, man. <laughs> it's not brand hey. specific. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're too close. No such thing as. Well, not that. That's not that. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? You going to the IU this year? Too busy? Yeah. Yeah, we're going. You're going to go? Yeah. 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 It I'm is. Sure. Did you bring stickers or anything, JT? I got you right there. We're getting all of them. There's Ranger. There's Ranger. Yep. So you've got both of those places here? Yeah. Both ours and ours. 
stop for DFW. So I wanted to introduce myself. I'm KH with Andrew. Acne Mowing. Acne Andrew. Mowing and Lawn Care. Nice. AcneMowing.com. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? My name's Andrew. I'm with the Lone Star Lawn Talk Podcast. Oh, awesome. Very nice meeting you. Same. Same. Thank you so much. <laughs> My name's Ben. Andrew. Oh, yeah. Those little mini ones. Yeah, JT. Yeah. Repercussion of bailing. And I'm glad he's got that out of it. Howdy everybody, I am Michael Melton. I am the owner of Powerhouse Equipment here in San Marcos, Texas. Um, and I am not a landscaper. I'm here to kind of represent the dealer perspective, so to speak, um, opportunities as well. So, you know, again, when I see commercial landscapers bringing in zero turns with 2,500 hours on them, are you able to rely on that piece of equipment, you know? Are you frustrated because you're having to bring this thing in five times in the season to get every little thing worked out? When you're at that point, it's an appreciating asset. You've gotten your money out of it. You need to remember every hour. And again, this goes back to what Chad was saying about knowing your numbers. How many man hours have you billed per operating hour on this machine? Well, I hope everybody has a good time. We're here just bringing everybody together, kind of network together and see what everybody's doing. Thank you all again. Here come some people that know what they're talking about. <laughs> Way to put them on the spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, first off, thank y'all for uh, uh, coming out, and thanks uh, AJ's Lawn Care. I'm Chad Curry. I'm the owner and president of CLC Landscaping. Hopefully, we can all learn from each other. Uh, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, which is nowhere near where I, my end game, end goal is. You know, it's the thing that I always try to look back at is keep it simple. Just don't make it harder than it needs to be. Um, so ultimately, I started like many of y'all, just getting that lawnmower. Um, really, just trying to make some money. I started in middle school. Uh, I was the kid with <coughs> money in no time because I was mowing 30 to 40 lawns a week, also going to school. And come out of my apartment one day, realized that everything was gone. Equipment, everything was stolen. Everything I'd worked for for you know seven, eight years as a kid didn't have insurance. You know, I'd learn it from everybody else. And Unfortunately, you get to the school of hard knocks. Um, so with that, I got a $500 credit card from Home Depot. I bought a Ryobi POS blower, a Ryobi interchangeable uh, edger and uh, weed eater, and then a lawn boy lawnmower, right? And my rule in my office is if you're not listening, you're not learning. If you're not learning, you're backing up. If you're backing up, you're doing it. And I'm very competitive. I'm sure many of y'all are competitive. Most business owners are. Um, you know, essentially, it's a reminder of what got you here won't get you there. Um, one of the best pieces of advice that I heard was the key to getting to a, a million is saying yes. The key to getting to 10 million is learning to say no. I, I'm, I can tell you how to get to a $2 million company. Our company this year should do around $2.3 million. Um, next year, we project to do around 3.3 to 3.5. Most important part is understanding your understanding what it truly costs you to produce what you do. About that, um, you and Irrigation, we are the largest family-owned uh, irrigation supply company in the country. We've been in business a little over 100 years. Well, last year we did our 100 year anniversary. Uh, we have over 200 stores nationwide. With Ewing, if you have an account, San Marcos, that account will carry over to wherever you're working at. So if you're a travel, if you work out of state, out of different towns, that account and your pricing will follow you wherever you go. Um, we run the gamut of irrigation supplies, uh, landscape lighting, Christmas lighting, fertilizers for grass, which is kind of hard to water in now. We sell paint so that you can paint your grass and you can't get enough water down to make it green. Because um, everybody here in Texas and probably Oklahoma knows water is very short demand at the, or supply at the moment. Yeah. Um, one of the things that sets us apart from other distributors out there is if you sell a job, say you, your, your primary at Bow and Go, 
or irrigation supply or repairs, stuff like that. If you sell a job with something that you're not familiar with, be it landscape lighting, Christmas lighting, we will send somebody out with you on your first couple of jobs to help you know where to, you know, help. We won't do the work for you, but we'll show you how to make proper connections with the lighting wire. We'll show you different tools that we have available to help plan out where the lights should go. Uh, if you have problems with the controllers or something that you can't figure out yourself, we will sit either the managers or our sales team are really good about getting out there and helping you figure out what your problem is. Mm -hmm. And I've been with them for 10 years now, is we treat people like family. Employees are treated like family, customers are treated like family. We will do anything we can to help you succeed because the better you do, the better we do, and it just makes us grow as a company. And it's short and sweet, but that's, that's human in a nutshell. I mean, anybody got any questions? Yeah, big hand for Rudy, y'all, big hand. <laughs> and this goes back to what I was saying, building relationships with your dealers, the people that sell you the stuff that you use and buy every day. Like Rudy said, we're, we're in there at least twice a week. I mean, even if we're just getting ice. <laughs> Are there uh, any questions that we have about uh, <laughs> yeah, the candy, tacos on Friday? But yeah, my great people there. Um, hopefully, y'all visit your Ewing wherever. I don't know y'all got Ewing up there. Um, hello, my name is Natalie Lopez, and this is my partner in crime. Uh, John Lopez. Uh, uh, we're the owners of NL Designs. We are a small but mighty apparel decorating, screen printing, embroidery, laser engraving, promotional products, a uh, little shop here in San Marcos. Um, when Ricky invited me to come, I was like, am I going to go talk to his aunt for people about my yard is dead at home. Um, so, but today I just wanted to kind of come in, introduce ourselves and just kind of, um, just really quickly talk about uh, branding and marketing. Um, especially small businesses as you're getting started, it is so important to make sure that you've got your logo, you keep it simple, um, you choose a good font that's not going to be too complicated, make sure that you try to visualize what that's going to look like on a cap or a jacket or a polo or on your truck or magnets or stickers um, and things. So um, if you have any questions, feel free. We, can, we have some business cards you can ask. And you guys can come use me, or you know, if you have somebody that you're already working with, you know, just feel free. Those are just conversations that you can kind of have with your either just graphic designer or whoever your print shop is. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you for coming. That is our marketing department right there, y'all. <laughs> so I think we're going to finish off the uh, giveaways. I know y'all been eyeing that 50th anniversary Echo PB580T. Yeah. We're going to be giving all the rest of the stuff away now. Where's the battery? <laughs> I don't see the batteries on it. No, no battery on that. It's Texas, baby. <laughs> I don't know where Ricky went. I'm going to have to fly solo on this one. Oh, he's out the car. He's putting up the kids. I am Drew Martinez with the Lone Star Podcast is gonna come up. We're going to do, we'll do the steel chainsaw. We'll save the blower. It is Abel 254-1630, the steel chainsaw. That's what it is. All right, here we go, Mr. Andrew Martinez from Dallas, Texas. Guys, what is going on? It's nice to meet every single one of you guys. Ricky, bro, Tino, thanks for throwing this thing on. I love this thing. Um, nothing like live events. I think everybody that I've talked to here already, you kind of know what my opinion <laughs> is on all this. I started my lawn business back in 09. Started out of a minivan, had my Husqvarna, push lawnmower. I don't even know if John Deere makes weed eaters anymore. And I had a broom of a blower so uh i i you know I, I started from 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 nothing and i think a lot of us you know thank god lawn mowing is one of those things but um so i've been in the business over going on 14 15 seasons now and love it love every minute of it 
maybe not quite as much in June through through uh, August, you know. Um, but hey, I mean, it is what it is, right? So I decided uh, early in 2022 to start a, a podcast um, called the Lone Star Lawn Talk Podcast because everyone that starts in a minivan that has multi-million dollar companies, you know, everyone has a story. Everyone has a trek. Everyone has a reason. Everyone has a why. And I'm not the hugest company in the world, but you know what? I love meeting huge companies. I love meeting small companies, intermediate companies. Uh, we interview anybody and everybody under the sun that has to do with lawn care, the green industry, and really entrepreneurship, honestly. Because there's a lot of things that I could have avoided years ago if we had meetups, if we had podcasts, if we had YouTube channels, things of the nature. My slogan is, you know, we want to we want to keep margin not just in your pocketbook, but also in your calendars. By doing that, we got to keep our mental acts of acuity sharp. So we bring on, I, I, I ramble on and I rattle off my knucklehead self on solo episodes on there. I bring in million dollar guests. I bring in quarter million dollar guests, people starting up. I was talking with somebody that just started their business this year. Oh, I don't want to get on the podcast. I don't want to talk. I don't, I don't have anything to say. Yeah, you do. Everybody wants to hear where you're starting from. Where's your mindset at? Where Where are you at in life? That's what I mean. That's how Joe Rogan started. He just BSing there on the on the thing. And you know, you know, everybody loves to hear real stories. And I don't care where you're at in business. That's why we started this thing. So we can each keep our acts of business security sharp, man, and um, constructively listen to other people in their lines of work and their stories hey maybe that's something i can add to my to my life it may not work for you but it might work for me or vice versa you know if you know if you're if you're on, it's on spotify it's on google it's on uh, uh apple podcast i mean you're, you're you're learning with leaders man bless you guys thanks thank you mr andrew yeah. again yeah like you said man thank you everybody that made this happen man, especially ewing chad Andrew, Mr. Michael was not here. He had to go camping. But we're gonna give away a pair of Cucho Yardwear. These are size 10. So if you don't wear size 10, you might have to give them to somebody else that you know. <laughs> this is the only size. Who wears size 10? Anybody, anybody? You? Two people? Well, I'm sure you know somebody that wears one. <laughs> Pinky, no pinky. Jose. Jose. It's the only Jose. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Michael left these for us to give away. Uh, they're size specific, so. That's gonna be for my son. Oh, that's wonderful. Son is a On the other pair. On the other pair, you get to pick your size. <laughs> Joe. Who's Joe? There you go. Mr. Joe. What's your company name, Joe? Third Sandy Lawn Service. Come on, come over and get a picture. Ricky's got the paper. He'll give it to you in a minute. You just got to go online and uh, they'll give it to you. All right, last but not least, the 50th anniversary, PB580T. Nobody you know has this blower. <laughs> we have one, though. It'll probably never come out of the box. But this one, Michael donated for the raffle. Oh, awesome. It's pretty. It is very pretty. Come on, baby. I don't know if y'all are going to want to use it. That'll hang up in the show. You better shake it up good for this one. Shake it up good. Shake it up good. There you go. I threw like 50 that say my name on there. Cindy! Got a new blower. Cindy is Jose Perez. They own, they own uh, SRJ Lawn Care in New Braunfels, Texas. Told Jay, Jose's wife. She also works with them, so he's going to probably make her use it. Cindy, if it wasn't me, I'm glad it's you that won it. <laughs> Hey, should we get more of the way?
<laughs> Alright, again, thank y'all everybody for coming out. Um, like I said, Andrew's going to be here hanging out for a little bit. He'll be in the office. If anybody wants to jump on the podcast, get on there with him. He'll ask y'all some real interesting questions. Great job, you guys. Thank you. We are getting ready to head home from San Marcos, Texas. Boy, is it dry out here. Big, A big shout out to uh, Tino and Ricky with AJ's Lawn Care. Hello, show my preface. Too. Yeah, we we appreciate you guys having us out here. It was and, very uh, fun, we got to do our first podcast. We did our first podcast with the Lone Star Lawn Talk. Yep, it was very successful, I feel like we did a good job. Um, Normally we're uncomfortable doing those kinds of things, but I think we were very comfortable. And we took home a foam cannon, uh, a couple pump sprayers, a two hundred dollar wheelbarrow all kinds of prizes and a uh tool rack for our trailer which we've been needing a tool rack miguel and uh, walter have been telling us to buy a tool rack all year long it was uh, and we haven't it so it was well worth the trip well worth the trip had a good time definitely had a good time those are some good guys right there yeah, i got to meet some good people yeah we will definitely be back next year yeah you guys need to start thinking about next year same time next year uh, it's called the Texas Lawn Care Roundup. Yep. Texas, Texas Lawn, Lawn Care, Care Roundup. Roundup. It's the new hot spot for all the people in the green industry. You guys need to come next year. There was all kinds of good prizes to be won. Yeah. It was really fun. We had a great time. It was more so the getting to talk with other people that was yes, fun. Yes, my favorite part of the day was doing the podcast. What you got? What? What'd you get? We won a bunch of loot. Yeah, we did. Y'all are awesome. We had a blast. Did you learn a lot of things today? Yep. About. Yep. About to network. Yes. Very cool. That's awesome. Yep. That's to meet all kinds of people. And let's look at all this loot we got here. Oh my goodness.